Alright, I'm about to German Neo Strauss Khan. Um, but right. Wow, this is weird. I was listening to music before, and now it's all quiet. Anyway, I have to use friend for this game because I'm slightly colorblind, so. Blue versus purple in a mirror, all his units will look exactly like mine. Auftrag Jawohl. verstanden! So I think I'm gonna do like two heavy cannons, eight coals, and dot blue line, and then like ten skirm. It's a pretty good stock army for German mirrors. You can also drop the coals and just do dot blue line heavy cannon, which works sometimes. If your opponent makes any calls, it can be difficult. But Dapulan Heavy Cannon Hood counters pure Dapulan armies. Um, is he really gonna just camp in a choke? He should be like. Put his army up here to meet mine. He still has a decent amount of space to FB up here and up here. It's not unwinnable. Hello? Though it's definitely advantage for me because of how much space I have. Mm, Hancock's gonna mortar, apparently. Wow, that's that's really rough. Lots of space, so we're gonna delete a decent amount of bills. Did he not do corbs? I'm gonna assume he did corbs because I know he scouted my heavy cannons. Like I saw his ulans by my factory when the heavy cannons came out. Yep, the the corbs. And this mortar is nice. I have complete line of sight of his army. In addition to the obvious advantage of his base, is his FB is fucked. I messed up. These calls are not going to be able to fight. Uh, Strauss, holy fuck, almost 2700. That's nice. My boom was pretty solid as well. Hold it back and stay back until my cool other corps get here. Already requeuing units. Enforcement troops ASAP from your store to FB. Those mortars are in such an amazing position. Strails can't touch them at all. Holy shit. Game might be over. Got to make natives, that's really bad. You want to queue natives ASAP, especially as German. Making a lot of dops, because I, I see no skirms in a ton of war wagon. And I want to push, because Hancock is mortaring with me, so it's my responsibility as a teammate to push.
He got baited pretty good. Mm. Should probably send Team Cat attack after AA and cheaper decks. I'll hold off on 15% mills. Make some orders of my own since Hancock isn't appear to be moving his in the tower. Rule on for shipments, don't have to walk halfway across the map. Is on this side, the right side, because that's where all his oolongs and war wagons are on the right. Yeah, now my humankas are doing a ton of damage because to his war wagons, which he's making too many of, by the way. Holding, I'm keeping my heavy cannons back because he's outmassing me on coals at the moment. I don't want to lose those. And again, I'm going to bait his coals here. Team cat attack. Shoot to my base set. Shouldn't really be making more than five or six war wagons in the German mirror. Again, I'm gonna try to hit the right side with this my Minkas because it's where all those war wagons are. Getting some nice shots off with my heavy cannons. Oh. Half the lag. Takes, I, there's like a three, two seconds a day between when I click the arsenal apps and when it registers and actually researches them. And a few of my clicks didn't even register, so I had to click it. Whoops, whoops, that was bad. Bad. Alright, I'm good. They're good. Even though I have two heavy cannons, I'm going to queue another horse out because it's such a small choke. I'll be able to easily defend from any Ulan flanks. So we want to go out heavy. Mortars are gonna, my mortars are probably going to die. But yeah. Shit, that was a good shot. Yeah, your heavy cannon should like always be either shooting at your opponent's infantry mass or moving. Either towards it or away from the coals. Heavy cannons can be good to can be excellent to bait coals. And remember it takes a sh like three shots to kill them. Oh. And losing one heavy cannon can be worth it if you kill like 10 skirms. Always want to stay maxed on natives. I'm making a lot of Ulan to compliment the human spam that I'm doing. About this point, I'm gonna watch them. I'm gonna be watching the mini map because Asimpalm is a well known runner.
I've seen Asimcom do some pretty amazing jumps in the past, so I want to be watching the mini map. You should always be watching the mini map, but sometimes, like, if you're against a player, you know he almost never runs. You can kind of pay a bit less attention to it, whereas if you're against a well-known, notorious runner, then you should be paying a lot of attention to the mini map. This is a coal flash, like six coals. In this position, the only way to beat that is with the coal flash on my own. I should mortar that wall. He could gate there and do some really good long things if he wanted to. I guess. Asimfon, because he sees Hancock mortaring me, and he can't push. I mean, Hancock is mortaring with me, and Hancock and Asimfon can't push, so Asimfon has to, like, do something to make up for that, which is why he's sending Rondos to make up for the mortar. You notice how I have like cold groups like on opposite sides. It makes it easier to like get an angle on your opponent's cold. Kill them. And I'm baiting him and I'm moving back, he's like moving his coals forward to like chase my coals. And he's not moving back in time, and so he just lost two coals to my Ulan Huminka mass. That heavy cannon should have been moved forward a while ago. Gonna delete another embassy and build it forward. Um, I'm fine with Asimthom doubling me, and I can see by score that, and by looking at the minimap, that Hancock is pushed up and. He has a decent, he has a very nice score. He has, I don't think he's even drained since the treaty ended, so I'm fine with Asenthom doubling me, which will lead to him losing even harder. That heavy cannon is in a bad position. I'm gonna try to snipe it with my war wagons because Strauss has no Ulan's out. So I may as well make those war wagons useful. Now he's getting overwhelmed by Ulan native, and the port mortars from Hancock are just, are just making it even more brutal. And I see that I have a lot of coin and I'm sure. production in this game has been lacking. I've been making up for it with my pillow. We should have like four or five holes out at all times. Yeah, try being this cold. Hold him back that time. Hancock is abusing Port Mortar so well this game. 
use those two war wagons to hit that horse so it's over there. It's in the back spot. Trying to keep them in farm mode at all times, but it's hard. Asymptom is a lot of pop gear, so I need my teammate Hancock to push. And Asymptom has complete control of the V. Um, that's a bit worrisome. I'm gonna actually build some Raxes in Hancock's base. Which I should have had, which I should have done before 40. But seeing Asymptom as actively take control of that V while Hancock isn't is a red flag, but he's probably gonna try to run. Yeah, uh, well, uh, Strauss did there, not sure if it was on purpose or not, uh, putting the corv behind the war wagon, it was probably not on purpose, it just happened, but it makes it so hard to select, it's so annoying, I'm gonna try to hit that native, native is huge, I basically decreases army size by 20 units if I kill that native, And I'm using every shipment on heavy cannons, which is what you want to do. Again, my coal f his coal production is better than mine, but my micro is better than his. I have to work on Um, yes, I got his native. That was definitely worth it, not losing the mortar for the native. The advantage of having a smaller cove mass is it's easier to micro, but usually I prefer having a large cove mass so that I can control his artillery and control the battle. Shit. Once you're out of wood, it's really hard to come back on wood. These natives are a big drain on wood as well as artillery. You can hit that native again. Let's see if I can get some good heavy cannon shots on his gun mass. that was gonna happen that, that's a factory for sure we have no buildings in base I sent some people. yeah that's a factory I knew it was gonna happen but and
This is gonna be difficult to win now. Hancock not adding any factories. Um, he's asymptomatic and send the Got a lot of set wings. And also, asymptom has been sending pop here all the game. My factories are intact, though. That's the important thing. If I had lost factories, then that would definitely lose the game, but because I still have both of my factories, we're still in it. Asshole Hancock. Why isn't he doing anything? Still is musking, I guess. Heavy cannons. Okay. I was sending my shipments more diligently than Strauss was, and so now I can get really good hand heavy cannon shots. What the fuck? I pinged that, and Hancock's not doing anything. <sighs> he should be like Now it's idle. Okay, but Hancock is sending mortars. Who the kill is that? That's nice. Good play. Ask for wood. Which I have to do. Because oh, I, I, I want, I have to, we have to push here. What else we lose? Because, oh, we all have our facts. I just assumed Hancock lost a factory when I saw Asymptom in. Hancock kept his factory. But still, I'm worried about the Brit German ego, which is why I really want to push here. Heavy cannons are an ex are excellent at baiting poles. Because heavy cannons will usually be causing your opponent so much grief that you're gonna want desperately to kill them. And they'll spam these coals. They'll be willing to spam coals really far forward if they think they have a chance of killing your heavy cannons. Eight coals because 
Yeah, I'm getting pulled by not only Strauss, but Asimpom as well. More idols. That was a really successful run by Asimpom. Hancock has a lot of idols now, and he killed a lot of bills. He distracted Hancock, which allowed Asimpom to continue doubling me. Without many, without many negative repercussions, because the gnat was already in danger even before the jump. Yeah, with a few minor exceptions, like if you can get full map control, like Asimcom was able to do against Hancock, you should use it. What you want to do in the face of a jump is react to it, stay calm, and make sure you and just look for other ways to win. Like Hancock keeping Strauss is now down, forcing Asimplum to double me, allowing Hancock to completely push up mid. Hancock's using his long guns to try to spam my items. It's a lot easier to run over them with Ulan because Strayos only has one that only 13 damage as opposed to 26. What are they doing? Attack move means attack move. Does it mean attack and then run back? Look how many coals I baited with my heavy cannons. So I usually stop sending heavy cannon shipments once I have 5 or 6. Damn, it was fail of me to keep that native up. Should have been caught wearing it. The factories on wood, I have 14 bills on wood. Can't believe I'm actually having trouble keeping it. And that's why once you're out of wood, it is so hard to keep up. So they can come back with. So that you're so hard to make recover wood count. All his war wagons are on the right side, and all his cannons are on the left. That means I can Ulan flank from the left and kill a ton of cannons. Hancock is abusing my map control that I, that I got versus Strauss and using it to mortar Asimpham's base. It's really good for him. Warwagons. I can make it on his warwagons. Hancock is draining. Losing his native. I mean, losing all those bills probably didn't help. Still a little worrisome to see. I mean, at least he has full map control. At least he's pushing and he has full control over mid. It's gonna be very hard for Asimpom to jump again. 
because then Hancock can just walk into his base. Hold these back against bulls. You don't want to lose heavy cannons. Although you can afford to be a little spammy aggressive with heavy cannons because again they're free. And they can try to hit some Prom's longbows. Heavy cannons do just great longbows like almost nothing else. I lost a heavy cannon, but I have 10 shipments in queue. I can just make more. I'm gonna have to ask for food soon because again I've been getting doubled all game. Uh, these heavy cannons are dead. Is that cold? Oh, my clothes are out of position. I'm gonna lose a lot of heavy cannons. Shot to reload, then, then I'll hit his course. Asking for food now, I don't want to lose this position. I see Hancock draining, I don't want to lose this push. Especially since I'm forcing so much 2v1. Careful that my waypoints are always headed to the fight so that I get no idle heavies. I'm gonna delete my final embassy. Should have done this a while ago. Rebuild it. I did accidentally deleted all my embassies. Fuck my life. That's awesome. I'll just spam for posts. It's annoying. I just meant to delete one embassy, but I guess I was accidentally in the control group. I should be more diligent with heavy cannon shipments since I just lost all of them. I had five heavy cannons, but I lost them all. I've just. But I have 11 idle shipments, so I should be able to easily mess up to 5 again. I have 4 motors, no reason to queue anymore. It's just because there's not much to kill. Okay, cool. And since he has no Ulans out, I can just cuss his, I mean, hit his artillery with war wagons. He also doesn't have a good enough skirm mass, so it's actually cost effective here. There we go. Mm. 
wood's gonna be a problem in about 30 minutes, and that's optimistic. Because Asenthal, I mean, Hancock didn't take any control over mid, which means we're also denied over the trade route, I mean. Which means Han we're denied all of that wood that's in the V. means I can see wood becoming a problem very soon. He's not getting that native up. I mean, it's always worth a try. I'm gonna just send these humankas to siege his second native. Oh, he did get it up. Yeah, not for long though. And I actually chose to kill, like... Hit his war wagons over the native. Trying to play cost efficient here. More, more or less. Eh, he lost two points to kill a heavy cannon. I'd say that's worthwhile because it's going to help prevent me from massing up to five heavy cannons. If I mass up to five heavy cannons, his position is fucked because he will just have to keep running back. Damn, the 2v1 this game is... We saw Asimthom 200 points up on Hancock before, but now they're even. Hancock has been able to equalize the score deficit because of the 2v1. Asimthom has now sent enough pop up here that I cannot push, so I need to go back and heal up now. Not randomly lose heavy cannons for no reason. Strauss actually had to send Pop to kill Hancock on that net front. That's good. Himenka sieging his gnat and it's doing work. Yeah. Move my heavy cannons to his longbows and back up against Strauss' mass up there. This is a mistake I see Strauss make a lot. He's losing his fight, he gets help from his teammate and is able to push out. As soon as he push out, he sends Pop to help his teammate when he should just trap push when he should just push my fight and keep when he should just push in his own fight and keep the 
advantage that he has because when he sends pop to help his teammate he loses the advantage this double man okay I'm not getting doubled right now but I want pulls I, I want a decent pull mass before I push Is needed. Actually, I think I can just run over it with Yuminka. Yeah. One thing to take note of is if Hancock sent Bad Brothers, and he did not, so that his score there that he has, his score advantage is legitimate, which is good. I should not be sending him because forward there. Look at all these stones. Should fill up even more since I'm about to take Nats. I think he saw that he was gonna lose the coal for and just started hitting my heavy cannons. I think that's a solid decision. It's, yeah. Um, my explore, this explore, I think is hope it doesn't die again. He's um, trying to take it. He's actually gonna get it. And it's always worth a try to they take the gnat back. If your opponent doesn't have any troops near by. I should be even higher on Vils. Spamming for more than two map posts is really expensive. But none of my... There we go. I was gonna say none of my pop was dying. to fill up, but always at max off. Struggle is real. Do I delete pops up in the cake fills? Oh, 
too real. I have 18 reels on the wood. I can just fight Strauss's army with my normal units and then hit Asimthom with my natives and not be losing to Strauss because I have natives and Strauss doesn't. And now it's pretty over. Like, we have a big enough advantage. We're not going to lose this. Okay. We're not going to lose from here. I'm not going to lose as a Germany with four mats. Yeah, there it is. Hmm, what is Strauss do wrong? I saw too many war wagons of that, and early on he was a bit sloppy. He was a bit. He was slacking on heavy getting heavy cannons out. Hancock's mortars also fucked him hard in the beginning. Hancock had his mortars in the perfect position, like right here. Four hundred unit double. Yeah, Asimthom had to help later on because of the mortars. Asimthom also fed more. Stay Australia. Um, lost heart. I think it was just yeah, just too many war wagons, and he also got out Kolf pretty hard. I didn't see some part any particularly impressive Kolf micro from Strauss. Yeah, why actually, why didn't Asimthom kill the factory? He was in with twenty musk, ten grand, and some mortars. Should go straight for the factory. And Yeah, yeah, that's a problem you should have taken out. Have some Hancox hacks. How I judge Kolv range? That's just practice. Like, you practice Kolv micro, and then you kind of get a sense about what the range is. Uh, Asimthom even tried another little jump there, but Hancock was on it. Well, I, uh, 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 